sedih sad but true tolong ah uh, Faiji hmm. tolonglah bayar your artis dia orang ni yang buatkan kejayaan kau Apakah reaksi satu ayat anda terhadap Kami 5G mengumumkan 15 projek dengan memperkenalkan MCU Phase 5 dan Phase 6 sekaligus di SDCC? Serta apakah projek yang anda paling tak sabar nak layan di Power Game nanti? Reaksi satu ayat, very relief that Phase 4 is ending and we have this bunch of new things that looks better connected now. Projek that I'm looking forward to the most has to be Thunderbolt. So. That's a personal favourite for me. Hmm. Main blown, excited semua lah kan. Projek yang aku looking forward adalah Blade. Because oh, Blade yeah. adalah the OG. Kalau tak ada Blade, tak ada MCU eh. One word, unstoppable. Quantum Mania, Geodegy Volume 2, Loki Season 2 and Avenger The Dynasty of Kang. The Kang Dynasty. This four yang aku looking forward. Ada pendapat anda, adakah sebab sebenar Kami 5G tunjuk 15 projek ni dah announce sampai ke 2025 MCU Phase 6 Adakah ini sebenarnya strategi Kami 5G to shut the fans up Yang telah banyak komplain eh bahawa kualiti MCU Phase 4 semakin cacang marbah lah Tidak interconnected lah, VFX macam sampah lah So sekarang tiba-tiba semua macam budak balik dapat gula-gula Eh happy, happy Kami <laughs> 5G sebenarnya nak bodoh-bodohkan siapa yang cakap uh, <laughs> MCU Phase 4 tak best yang kata tak selesai tak best apa semua kan nampak semua jadi bodoh balik <laughs> aku dah tu aku dah tu oh tak tahu ada tanda ada lipat aku dah dia tak ada dia tak ada hal tuju lah dia tak ada tuju kalau, kalau tak dulu semua nak tunjuk terpaling pandai terpaling MCU kan oh ni ni nak ajak semua orang nak ajak KBF lagi buat kerja ha KBF lagi bodohkan kau orang balik ha ni ada <laughs> teruskan jadi bodoh ni okay. Hidup bodoh! Okay, at the end of the day, aku rasa Kevin Feige admit jugalah dengan cara dia buat ni pasal sebelum ni dia cakap Phase 4 sampai ke Fantastic Four tiba-tiba Itu Fantastic dah Four pula jadi pembuka Phase 6 So aku rasa hmm. dia dia tukar, dia dia, dia pusing je ni, dia U-turn hmm. ni Aku rasa pasal dia admit secretly yang ya, yeah, Phase 4 hmm. sampah Ya, yeah, Caca Marba, uh, terima kasih Covid selama 2 tahun, fuck up all my plans So I guess dia sekarang berani enough to say Here's my new plan I fucked hmm. up, sorry guys, this is my new plan So, aku respect dia kerana berani But I hope please don't fuck up Phase 5 and 6 Because sekarang kau dah tak ada alasan ya eh? No COVID lah, patut ke, okay ni Apa ke, ha. kau dah tak ada alasan So please Ayolah, Kalau kalau Phase 5 and 6 pun nanti dia you know, Phase 7 and Phase 8 pun semua jadi bodoh boleh Apa beza? <laughs> <laughs> Kita semua yang macam kena gula-gula kan Eh, abang <laughs> best lah, abang best Dia pun sedap lah Dedak, dedak kan Ini lah dedak Tak boleh, senang lah, senang lah. <laughs> Dengan 15 projek baru yang telah diumumkan di San Diego Comic Con On top of 12 ongoing MCU projects yang dia terlupa uh, Iaitu, aku rasa hmm. dia dah announce She-Hulk dengan Black Panther 2 Tapi dia terlupa lagi 10 eh Kita ada hmm, Halloween semua. special Werewolf by Night Kita Armor ada Christmas Wars, Special kan? Guardians of the Galaxy Kita ada Armor Wars Kita ada hmm. Deadpool 3 Kita ada Wonder Man Nova Okoye Tales of Wakanda Okoye pun ada Spider-Man 4 ah, Dan juga Chang-Chi 2 Okoye so, tu aku risau <laughs> Sebelum kau fikir 15 tambah 12 tu adalah 37 projek ongoing at the same time Daripada hmm. sekarang Sampai 2025 Jadi Adakah Uh, you know, VFX houses yang bekerja untuk Marvel semua dah bunuh diri <laughs> Dan adakah masalah VFX yang dihadapi Marvel Studios Akan makin teruk lagi bagi The Multiverse Saga Aku pernah dengar ada orang komen something which To a certain extent aku agree juga lah Sebab dia kata M, uh, the MCU should focus on quality instead of quantity To a certain extent lah So macam okay, daripada sekarang sampai 2025, 30 projects in the span of between ni until 2025 Nak kata tak make sense pun, uh, the MCU fandom is very ravenous for content oh. Kalau aku rasa hmm. kalau mereka pun slow down and start to not do shit, orang TV sing juga Tapi belum hmm. buat benda, mereka cakap nak quality over quantity pula so, The grass is always greener lah. You go left, someone will say go right. You go right, someone will say go left. So at the end of the day, 
uh, it's up to them to decide lah. So since they have decided on having 30 projects between now and 2025, well, my only hope is that they be, I don't know, they either be clever with the VFX, maybe certain things will pakai practical effects, certain things boleh sorok sikit, save it for the big battles ke apa benda ke. Or, or either that, that you pay the motherfuckers <laughs> you pay like the the VFX punya consultants and companies ni I mean if you want changes you want iterations you want options you pay for the options pay for the iterations and the VFX company tu punya bosses and directors pun kena lah protect the staff you are the ones who need to set the rates for you know the payment tier for changes and iterations and amendments lah. so I feel that, but I don't know. I feel that because we know how Marvel always responds to fan feedback, and they're very community-driven, punya company, so to speak, because of their like inclusivity, lah, bonus, semua ni. So it will be mightily hypocritical of them if you do inclusivity for race, for sexual orientation, but not for, for labour. You know, ah, uh, kan? So yeah. untuk orang lain, kau champion dia. Yang dapat dia, medal, uh, yang dapat medal, uh, tapi dia pun villain, master. Kan? Sebab uh, betul untuk orang lain, you champion their rights, but for workers making your shows great, you fuck them in the ass. Oh, so I hope Marvel is not like that. Criticism ni pun is not baru, tapi dia memuncak sekarang lah. So I'm hoping as we go on into this new phase, it'll be something that they will address. So I have no problems with the 30 contents. I understand why there's 30 plus content. Kalau tak ada pun orang akan bising. But having said that, if this is the direction you're going, go about it ethically and go about it without compromising quality. Lah. The funny thing is that quality becomes compromised because you are non-ethical in the way you treat your VFX, your consultants. So be fair to them, pay them the money. You're fucking rich. You made a lot of bucks already on the backs of us common people. Pay hmm. these guys so we get what we paid for. Nak buat duit pun berpada-pada lah. Bagilah kepada tenaga kreatif yang membanting tulang untuk menyiapkan projek korang. Hmm. The FX artist, the original comic book artist, the original comic book writer. Tanpa dia orang ni, then, karakter tu takkan wujud dalam Marvel Comics. Then korang takkan berjaya dapat buat filem. So artis-artis dan writer-writer ni penting. Kau kena bagi dia orang kredit, kau kena bagi dia orang secupak lah daripada 1 bilion tu kau bagilah 25,000 USD Betul. ke apa. At least berpatutan lah daripada 500 USD. Sebab ni kan, this is, this is the one one last info sikit lah bagi nak bagi tahu the greediness of corporations ni macam mana kan. If they pay the artists of the comics, the creators, and if they pay the VFX artists, dia orang rugi je. They don't get rugi. They still make money. Ah. You know? What is the harm in paying your creators? What is the so, harm in paying your VFX artists for iterations? Banyak yang kau minta and kau minta at the last minute. What's the problem? Titi bu hmm. the whole Marvel Studios nanti bankrupt. Eh, kalau bayar these guys, no. Tapi macam mana? Uh, satu sen boleh untung satu sen kalau kita dajal ini. Why not? Ah, aku aku tu. takut yang macam Arif Faizal cakap ni Silap-silap nanti CGI level movie Nigeria <laughs> ya. Kau dapat Secret Wars tapi macam Macam stick figure je okay. 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 Kalau, dia, kalau jadi macam tu <laughs> Kau panggil Taika Rarek Baru betul-betul kelaka <laughs> eh, Badut sial Badut sial nanti Sedih Sad but true Tolong lah Faiji hmm. tolong lah Bayar your artist Diorang ni yang buatkan kejayaan kau Actually the problem is Not from Faiji himself Bok Capek yang punya masalah Bok Capek, Capek, Capek. Bok Capek uh, Bok Capek is the CEO one yang Disney. CEO Disney Yang sangat Sangat berkira-kira Demand kau Last minute Kau, kau nak reshoot Okay last minute reshoot Okay uh, Movie keluar lagi 3 minggu Nah aku nak kau Sini sini Aku nak kau tukar 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 Macam Multiverse of Madness lah Multiverse of Madness oh. Seminggu sebelum Red Carpet tu <laughs> Ataupun uh, Dua hari sebelum Red Carpet oh. Baru siap Gila babi Gila <laughs> Sam Raimi macam butuh. Aku veteran lah, Kima. Ha, aku yeah, tak nak buat film bodoh yeah. macam ni, Sial. Sampai dua yeah. hari sebelum rekapit baru siap. Bodoh, Sial. Ya, yeah, and lepas tu, kalau tak ada Avenger threat event in the yeah. real world yang berlaku, contoh COVID and so on, the date won't be changed. Basically, Kevin and 
Bob say fuck you JVF artist aku takkan tukar tari pun I want this product to be done before this date aku macam oh orang ni dia betul the, wow. so the date yang kita semua tengok semua ni this is this, this is the VFF VF artist with deadline tau Mm. Yep. So, 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 so imagine, I want this fucker to be done spring 2024. Aku habis shooting on the summer of 2023. Kau ada lebih kurang sembilan bulan untuk dan all the color grading, all the color yes, correction. Sembilan bulan tu kira babi ya. Kau tahu tak? Yeah. X-Men First Class pun at least had tiga belas bulan of VFX. Mm. Tu pun orang menyumpah exactly. macam, eh tiga belas bulan tak cukup nak buat VFX ni bro. Yeah, exactly. Kau bagi sembilan bulan, fuck off lah, mati tu Exactly, yeah, exactly. And, and also, Marvel suka buat tight deadline Below daripada 12 bulan, 9, 9 month, 6 month, 3 month Even 2 month pun macam, series ni kalau kau tak siap 3 bulan Aku aku balance korang, korang tak payah kerja yang korang lagi macam Apa ah, gila, gila So macam, dude, be considerate Kita orang as a fan Okay, it's just me. Aku tak kisah if the movie or series delay due to the technical aspect. Yep. Aku boleh tunggu. Bagi aku, a good product is better for you to to do uh, good product for the f- uh, and right at the right time rather than you do a rush. Kau do it rush, rush rushing outcome sampah jadinya. Sampah sangat sangat. Betul. Sebab Kevin, kau dah kau dah kira the master of Storytelling, kau tahu what kind of story people want You know how to do the interconnectivity You know how to create a, 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 an emotional story Kau ada group of head writer yang Yang hari-hari masuk klinik Marvel untuk bincang the script Kau ada empat lima orang yang Yang correction the script itself For story, korang dah ada Kau dah casting team Sarah uh, Feli, kau, kau memang dah power dah Basically, kau lah Master of the casting. Kau punya casting tak pernah tak salah. Itulah. Tapi kalau kau tak bayar VFX artist, ya, bila kau tak thing. siap lah. Bila kau tak ha. siap. It's as simple as that. Simple as that. <laughs> kau, kau tak, kau, kau. Padahal VFX artist ni a core actually. Part of the very very important group yeah, of Yeah, tapi dalam yang... dalam Hollywood, mereka dihambakan oleh studio bro. Yeah. Bukan, Marvel is not the only one to do it eh. Semua studio. Semua streaming Amazon platform studio. sama. Netflix, Amazon Prime. Semua pun sama bro. Dia orang menghambat the ecosystem. Dia yeah. The ecosystem. Yeah. Hmm. Even yeah. apa ni aku ada baca dekat artikel buat dia baca tu. Mama cakap aku lagi rela kerja uh, VFX dengan non Marvel movie rather than Marvel movie. Marvel movie ni macam satu neraka bagi dia orang untuk bekerja. Betul bro. So macam so, wow, the reality is kau kerja 7 hari seminggu, 64 jam total untuk 6 bulan minimum. Kira bagi siap Oh baik Kira macam kau tak balik rumah lah Kau tak jumpa anak isteri lah Kau kerja tujuh hari seminggu Mana kau nak cuti siap Kau cuti siap Basically kau, kau, kau makan lah kau office Kau berak kau office Kau tidur kau office Kau balik kau office Apakah pendapat anda Tentang pengumuman pagi ini Bahawa pengarah Sangchi Daniel Destin Creighton Pengarah indie sebelum ini Bakal mengarah Avengers 5 The Kang Dynasty Serta Not connected to it. They, they, uh, they uh, have been, I think, very direct about that. I think they were. Okay. We love them. They love us. We want to find something to do together. Uh, but it's not this. Russo Brothers tidak akan kembali untuk Avengers 6: Secret Wars. Honestly, aku suka sangat sangat Shang Chi. Honestly, aku memang enjoy Shang Chi actually sebab dia punya choreography, fighting scene dia, and how Daniel direct the movie is painfully craft. I mean, it's a beautifully painted tau sangat sangat lawa actually and to to and to be honest aku wonder what kind of action pack of kang dia nanti dia we going to see so brothers the way dia buat tu fighting scene dia nak cakap macam mana it was okay tapi is too over saturated maksud aku dia akan buat the shot banyak Character dalam satu, satu masa, tapi in the short time Compare dengan Daniel, dia dia suka buat 1v1 tapi in the long exposure Macam maksudnya Dia in, in much more detail, especially in the bus fight scene Kau tengok macam mana apa Jacket apa semua dia tukar apa semua How dia elak tu elak ni That scene bagi aku macam lagi more apa ni, apa ni authentic 
Um, and also, I think this is going to be a good challenge for Daniel to do much more Avengers skills. Sebab Shang-Chi only one hero. So Avengers, aku wonder how dia nak buat banyak shot one by one ataupun in the group shot dia nak create maybe maybe dia nak buat a homage from you know to see shot from apa uh, Power Brothers ke apa ke itu lebih cool actually uh, no more Russo Brothers untuk untuk Avengers bagi aku it's okay sebab i mean kita dah dapat Russo Brothers daripada apa um, Captain America the Winter Soldier kan we got Civil War and we got Uh, 51 and Endgame, we got like 5 movie bagi aku Russo Brothers was a minus touch untuk phase 1, 2 and 3 tau diorang adalah touch touch the movie and become solid goal so bagi aku give give it to others is another level of challenge for the other director so I wonder who will be direct for Secret War sebab Kang Dynasty aku I have a hope, I have a hope that it's going to be a very 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 good movie sebab it's going to be action pack sebab aku dah nama Kang tu Aku rasa Taika Waititi Taika, Taika Aku rasa Taika Waititi Oh, secret <laughs> war Sudahlah, hey, dia jadi hey, the secret clowns the Secret clowns The Badut Wars <laughs> The Badut Wars The Badut Wars Beyond this, main juggling Uh, apakah pendapat uh, panelis yang lain tentang Daniel Destin Creighton bakal menjadi pengarah uh, Avengers The Kang Dynasty? Uh, silakan Munif. Okay. Um, uh, actually macam Nazir cakap lah, we know about uh, his prowess in like really uh, carefully crafting fight scenes. Um, and the way I see it juga tu lah macam we, of course the final frontier for him is whether he can juggle multiple characters at once huh? like any self-respecting Marvel new movie and yeah? uh, Avengers new movie so we look back at the things we loved about about your previous Avengers movie is that a lot of the characters kind of had their moments to shine huh? so I see that once we have that we are generally macam happy lah macam banyak karakter ada dia epic moments kan masa Infinity War even macam war machine pun scene dia kejap lah tapi macam dia carpet bomb all the all the army dekat dekat the barrier tu macam oh come on war machine lah so um, I think I think uh, well yeah I also enjoyed Shang-Chi I'm actually quite optimistic with this casting because okay if we talk about battle tadi kan it's not just he has great care in doing battle scenes which you can clearly see in the one-on-one and the macam like, bus punya fights kan but he's also versatile enough to juggle multiple scales of fight scenes within the same movie you know you have one on one uh, shang chi lawan that death dealer and tu aku macam aku pernah cakap kat korang lah yang dia ada that kunai punya flip dia tangkap it feels like the knife trick macam winter soldier kan so you have that style of grounded face to face macam melee going on And then you have that whole Jackie Chan style punya bus fight and the scaffolding bila dia rumble dengan ramai orang uh, army of the Mandarin tu. And then you have that war scene between Talo and the invading uh, Mandarin punya army. So there's a bit of war punya movie tu even though that's not the strongest fight scene. And you also have uh, like a fucking kaiju battle again creature feature guy which I really like. And the score during that battle. How about that? And the new music tu. Lepas tu He can also deal with people fighting unconventionally when bare-handed Shang-Chi lawan Mandarin with the Ten Rings and how they ambil balik the rings and it became a whole different fight altogether and how the rings were creatively used guna se platform untuk dia buat jumping kick lah and Mandarin guna the rings masuk bawah tanah and then untuk stealth attack lah and then buat the ring hadouken lah semua tu kan So, imagine everything that I've just mentioned tadi It's all in the same fucking movie, which also on top of that is a very uh, heartwarming emotional story without mainly bad writing. So it was competently written. It has multiple scales of battles. And at the same time, um, tu lah. And on top of all that, when you talk about Avengers movie, you talk about the villains, kan? So how well did he redeem Mandarin? 
so if you want a guy who could do villains right you know i mean do villains right do actions right multiple scale of actions currently in the lineup of the mcu i literally do not see anyone better or has proven that they could carry all these things out and this is no exaggeration no? who when we saw how chloe zhao failed to handle macam so okay macam a, a whole macam so dia pun lebih kurang actually it's a mini avengers movie lah but it so they had the header ramai orang kan and semua hmm. orang cakap ah oh, this would be better as a series sebab macam banyak sangat nak juggle susah lah benda story semua line. kan Sembilan orang, sepuluh orang. Yeah, so, uh, orang so yeah. the the writing suffer a bit pasal like, macam, yelah, because of all the characters apa semua. And then I'm not even going to discuss Taika. Um, lah tu Sam Raimi pula, he director, okay lah, like, a competent movie. Tapi dia more tu macam horror-horror vibe and wish. Mm, mm. I think uh, macam Avengers movie needs like a bigger spectacle than that lah. So I think because of his versatility, Yeah, mainly because of his versatility and competence and care when it comes to action. I, again, really do not see in the MCU when you line up who would be better to direct Kang Dynasty. Lah. I think it's a really good choice. Maybe people will think it's a gamble but or even completely disagree. But then to you, I pose a question. If not him, then who? This is my yeah. argument. So why I think it should be him? Like, uh, kalau kalau bukan Daniel Destin Creighton, I think uh, the next one would be Ryan Coogler lah. But Ryan Coogler maybe dia still nak buat filem-filem lain. Dia tak nak terikat betul. sangat dengan MCU. Uh, I think the next in line should And be Ryan Coogler lah. Bila kau tengok trailer, betul, betul. Ryan Coogler pun kau dah macam betul. But but that's but that's the thing. That's the thing. Bukan not not to deny Ryan Coogler, but you have to say that that is the Black Panther movie for Ryan Coogler is him comfortably in his elements. You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, black culture, and you have this whole like representation thing, and you dealing with the death of it. This is someone who's actually really close to you, and it's like you're one of us, like one of the family, and you bonded together in this tragedy and everything. So, although he has a lot of challenges, but he is right where he belongs. So, so when you watch movie Avengers, it's a completely different animal. So that's why I think. Apart from finding good good directors, you need versatility. Apakah pendapat kau sekiranya kita ambil pengarah-pengarah yang kita tahu boleh buat aksi ya, macam James Cameron ataupun Zack Snyder hmm. untuk James menghabis Wan, James Space 6. Ya, ataupun James Wan to do Secret Wars. Kalau first choice aku, Taika lah. Tapi kalau tak. kalau series, kalau Zack Snyder, Zack Snyder, Avengers Secret Wars. Ataupun Michael Bay Ataupun James Cameron Jadi kalau Itu sebab tu Dah macam Terlampau besar Atau kalau Kalau kau macam Cakap dari segi skop Director dalam MCU Aku rasa Kalau yang boleh buat Ni handle Saya kawal uh, Next dia adalah apa James Gunn kot Aku rasa James Gunn James Gunn sebab dia pandai juga Main dengan uh, Banyak karakter Lepas tu Each karakter Have the time to shine sebab tu action pun ok apa semua tapi aku dah boleh lah sebab James Gunn macam dah tak nak buat dah kan dia last killer dengan ni, dia nak pergi DC je bro dia nak buat Malaysia, film, film. Ya. dia tak so, boleh so, buat so, R-rated dia boleh buat R-rated so, bro so kemungkinan dia, dia, dia tak niat tu semua aku rasa dia antara orang yang agak layak jugalah aku rasa sebenarnya buku boleh bagi peluang dekat Muhammad Diab eh, yang buat uh, Moon Knight tu oh. Sebab so, oh. dia pun dia pun dia pun boleh handle kat aku tengok macam the final episode uh, macam mana dia buat cerita tu dengan ada kaiju gaduh dengan semua masa di yeah. action tu pun aku tengok transition dia bertukar-tukar pun menarik walaupun yeah. dia tak ada ram- banyak karakter tapi kalau aku suka kau dia beri, dia beri peluang kat director TV series aku rasa why not eh sebab semua orang pun start from nothing kan kalau big name aku boleh campak je siapa Jess Cameron lah apa nama apa Zack Snyder lah Steven Spielberg lah semua semua boleh campak nama je tapi sebab kalau kau tengok dari segi Kevin Feige dia suka ambil ambil dan dia suka bagi peluang director yang dah ada job dengan apa apa tu dia bagi peluang ha. so itulah tu bukan Jess Gunn ni Ray Coogler tu aku suka tak tak ni juga aku rasa Jess Gunn boleh lah kot 
Oh okey kalau seorang lagi kalau bukan dalam MCU yang aku rasa yang boleh Matthew Vaughn. Matthew Vaughn kalau buat aku oh, rasa Matthew Vaughn yang semat. Kingsman 1 hmm. punya punya yes. finale dalam church tu. Oh. Ha. Kalau macam tu dibuat Secret Wars. Yes. Oh my blown do. Kau bayangkan blown. kalau Matthew Vaughn pegang Secret Wars. Sebab apa? Macam mana Matthew Vaughn telah dipujuk oleh uh, apa X-Men punya director. Patut Matthew Vaughn buat X-Men 3 tau. Dia, 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 dia tak nak Dia tolak tu dapat dekat si buduh tu Jadi tak best Lepas tu dia pujuk lagi Lepas tu dia tak nak Tapi eventually dia Dia tewas juga Dia buat first class Meletup ha, hmm. Meletup Lepas tu, lepas tu dia buat cerita Comet lain pun Meletup 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 Kau bayangkan kau dia buat secret war Memang respect lah Aku suka tu itu, Kingsman itu 2 favorite. punya finale tu yang bila dia pun tag team kau boleh bayang dia on tag team kan uh, Kang macam tu. Oh. <laughs> Style. Hmm. Yang mana yang Statesman dengan Kingsman tag team. Ah yang dia lawan dalam kedai burger. Yeah <laughs> man. Yeah, yeah, yeah tu yeah, style yeah. dengan lagu-lagu lagu World Up tapi version version country kan. Style gila. Tu <laughs> my favorite yeah. choice ah. Kalau ada dan ni. Aku rasa yang paling out there would be Martin Scorsese lah. Tiba-tiba Martin Scorsese oh. nisaf. <laughs> Sebab <laughs> buat film. Dia kata. Saya Scorsese akan nisaf. tunjukkan cara dia agar tidak jadi timpak. <laughs> ha, macam ni lah menang Oscar. Lepas tu tak ada siapa kita buat Secret Wars. Butuh lah Scorsese. <laughs> Aduh. Yes. Aku rasa Steven Spielberg will be kind of cool. George Lucas parti tu dah tua lah. Tak payah. George Lucas tak payah. Tak payah. Scorsese. Scorsese. Tak payah. Tak payah. Nanti jadi macam Joker. Hmm. Which is good. Which, which dapat satu bilion. Which menang Oscar. Tapi kita nak tengok timpang. Kita bukan nak tengok Sina Scorsese. <laughs> kita bukan nak tengok mafia bergaduh kan. Sekiranya anda enjoy menonton video ini, jangan lupa untuk like, share dan subscribe kepada Buzz Pop TV. Untuk lebih banyak video-video yang berkaitan dengan pop culture daripada komik, TV, Film, mainan dan juga banyak lagi. Majulah fandom untuk negara.